what does Jack's father do? Make people feel bad about who they are. This is no time to be fooling around. Karen, she's right. Oh. Rosario, you'll go in first. I need some water. Again? What are you, snacking on a salt lick when I'm not looking? <laughs> There goes my world. There goes my everything. You stop worrying. She's just a maid. Just a maid? It's like saying that Pradas are just shoes or vodka is just a morning beverage. <laughs> Karen, please, the dramatics. Don't you understand how she... Okay. I am going to tell you something that... I've never told anyone. Rosario is my mother. She is not your mother. All right, she's not my mother. <laughs> but sweet nectar of the gods, nobody gets the Merlot out of my nylons like that little plantain. Karen. Well, she runs the entire house. She, she alphabetizes my medicine cabinets. She knows the ins and outs Karen. of my... She's my friend. <sighs> She is not your friend. <laughs> oh my God, she is. Wow. Real feelings. Are you okay? <laughs> Look, Karen, just leave everything to me. I promise nothing will go wrong, okay? Okay, I'll see Mr. and Mrs. McFarland now. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I remember him well. <laughs> How could you not know he worked for the INS? Don't they teach you anything at homo school? <laughs> so what kind of music does your uh, husband like? Well, when he's doing butt aerobics, he likes NSYNC. <laughs> but for the spinning class, he prefers the oldies. You know, Frankie goes to Hollywood. Relax, stop doing that, relax. Stop doing that. <laughs> and, and where did you two meet? Hmm, let me guess. It was Boy Bar. Mister, I don't know what you're talking about. It was a blind date and we went to Arby's. Okay, let's stop pretending. I've gotten farther with your husband than you have. I hope your bags are packed, because you're going back to El Salvador. Oh my God. No, they're not. No one's going anywhere. How dare you imply our marriage is a sham? Uh, you're gay. <laughs> what? A guy sleeps with guys and uh, immediately he's pegged as gay? <laughs> Let me tell you a little something about the day I met Rosario. I looked over the top of those half glasses into those big brown eyes and I knew from that moment love had found Jack McFarland. Cha -cha. <laughs> Rosario, my love, my life, my all. I adore you. You had me at Ola. <laughs> Good Lord. You know you shouldn't look, but there is a certain morbid fascination, isn't there? <laughs> Sweetie, I believe this is yours. Now, I've seen people desperate to be an American, but that is desperate to be an American. Fine, you pass. See you in six months. We never met. We won! Oh, honey, you are magnificent. And the light is back in my life. Oh, honey, you know, it's funny how sometimes you just don't realize how much you might miss something until it's almost gone. Which reminds me, I've got a Chanel suit at the dry cleaners, and boy, did I miss it! Come on. They close in an hour. Move it or lose it. Muy caliente. <laughs> <laughs>